Tau is the main power system of Hell's Paradise. It's honestly a unique power system compared to others in Shonen. There's like a lot of complexities to what it can do and how it works. Even how to train Tau can be split into different parts. Of course, I plan to go through everything about Tau in this video, not make it too complicated. I haven't seen much House Paradise content on YouTube and figure out the anime coming out soon. Be a good time to start talking about the series. But yeah, on to Tao. First off, in Hell's Paradise, Tao is the source of everything in existence. It's basically the life force energy of everything in existence. You can find it in everything living or non-living, from water, the earth, air, flesh, and so on. Due to the slightest thing, such as even thinking or breathing, is said to consume Tao. By learning to manifest and use Tao, it can massively increase one's abilities by giving them powers that the gods have mastered. There are five specific ways to train Tao, which is a prominent detail in the series and it can be a bit spicy, if you know what I'm talking about. The five methods of immortality, as they're called, are required to master Tao. And I'll go through each of them one by one. Doen involves training through physical exercise, which aims at improving better Tao circulation. Taisoku involves training through breathing techniques. Chu Itsu involves training through meditation. Shuten involves training through pathways of the body and organs. And lastly, Boku Jutsu involves training through sexual intimacy. This one is said to be the most important since it requires a partner of the opposite chi. Through intercourse, the chi's of both yin and yang will join and strengthen their tao. Tao itself is generated from one's tandem which is located directly below the navel. From there, Tao is circulated throughout the body. One thing to note is that damage to the tendon is a key weakness to those with flower Tao, such as the Tencent or certain other individuals. Flower Tao is basically Tao derived from flowers that grants an individual immortality through immense regeneration abilities and longevity. The Tencent, for example, which were created partially from flower Tao, can regenerate from any damage done to them in an instant. And I do mean any damage, as we've seen Tencent being able to regenerate entire parts of their body in an instant. For most humans afflicted with flower Tao, it causes aborification, which causes flowers to grow on their bodies and leave them in a blissful trance state. The regeneration appears as vines with flowers, restoring any limbs, but for humans that possess flower Tao, they're left with vine markings that last a while after the area is healed. Another indication of flower Tao is if one has a dark sclera around their eyes. One of the main components of Tao is the concept of yin yang. By following the middle way of Buddhism, one spirit is balanced, which allows for the manifestation of Tao to be created. For this to occur, one usually has to set both opposing forces within their hearts, such as their strength and weaknesses. Only by accepting both can one finally begin the manifestation of Tao. However, there are some cases of people manifesting Tao without even knowing. Like through blindness, it allows the body to embrace the sensation of Tao and detach themselves from reality. By aiming towards concretion their yin yang cycle, a person can fully master the usage of Tao and increase their reserves through proper spiritual and physical training. Emotions connected to yin yang can cause Tao to surge, which can lead to growing and strengthening in an individual. The main causes of this are usually emotions like love and anger. An example of this would be when Gabimaru's feelings for Yui would manifest. Part of this reaction was due to the clashing of his desire to return to Yui and being separated from her side. This led to Gabimaru's Tao strengthening when he first heard that his wife was actually real, giving him the ability to immediately recover from the negative influence over his body. Sagiri was able to increase the power of her Tao enough to fight against Rien in Kishikai mode by accepting the strength, weakness, and doubt within herself. On the other hand, Tao can decrease if they're given to only one side of their emotion. Moving on, we have to talk about the elemental attributes of Tao, which leads into why the system is especially unique. The attributes are pretty similar to the five Chinese elements. What makes the system unique is the restoration and hindering effect cycle the five elements follow. When two people of different attributes physically contact each other, the effects change depending on the attributes. First, the five elements are wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. The wood attributes restore someone with the fire attribute and hinders an individual if they have the earth attribute. Fire restores earth and hinders metal. 
Earth restores metal and hinders water. Metal restores water and hinders wood. Lastly, water restores wood users and hinders those with the fire attribute. Now I will explain the restoring and hindering cycles. The restoring cycle is called Sose, and the hindering one is called Sokoku. When a person makes physical contact with someone with the compatible element, the restoration can replenish and strengthen Tao. Like even Sagiri uses her wood Tao to replenish Gabimaru's fire Tao. Even if someone can't perceive Tao, they can still be affected by the restoration and hindering effects that are compatible with the attribute of their Tao. Weapons can also be affected by restoration if they have lingering Tao from someone with the right attribute. The restorer can then boost the power of the Tao imbued weapon once they make physical contact with it. On the other hand, the hindrance cycle Sokoku causes one's Tao to be weakened and drained when they make physical contact with someone possessing the Tao attribute that counters theirs. Their hindrance cycle also acts as a main weakness against flower Tao users. And finally, when two individuals with the element clash, they won't get a hindrance or restoring effect. Only the one who is more skilled at wielding Tao will win that battle. Tao itself is described as a tangible current flowing around a person's body. In the manga, it shows a school of small sharks swimming around the user. The sharks are much larger for the Tenzin due to their incredible strength. After all, a person's overall strength determines the speed and size of the current. The direction the current flows is also dependent on the element of the person. During a restorative Tao cycle, person receiving the boost in power will have their current pushed back. Then, during a hindering Tao cycle, the person being weakened will have their current blocked. Probably one of the coolest forms of Tao is hybridization. This is when two different Taos are fused together in one person. The only way this is possible is when a human tries to gain the powers of Flower Tao. A human attained Flower Tao is stated to be nothing short of a miracle. However, even if a human has attained Flower Tao, the effects of aberrification will accelerate if the human regenerates too much. Some basic uses of Tao are the ability to sense Tao, which can be used in all sorts of ways like being able to predict attacks and pinpoint weak spots. Tao can be used to enhance physical attacks or weapons, which can cause severe damage inside a person's body, being described as if one's very soul was struck. Poking the body with Tao can also increase durability and even become strong enough to resist even hindering attacks if pushed further. And the only way this Tao armor can be bypassed is if the user's Tao is used against them. This requires Tao redirection, which is an even more skilled usage of Tao, causing opponents to be damaged by their own Tao, without having to worry about the hindrance cycle or wasting any of the user's own Tao in the process. There are many other uses, like being able to use ninjutsu, suppress one's presence, firing Tao as a projectile, creating a lightning, manipulating the surroundings, and so on. There's like so many different ways it can be used, which is why I think it's so unique. Of course, even with the amount of variety and pros that come with wield and Tao, there are some drawbacks. After all, Tao is basically the user's life force, so using too much of it leads to strain on the body and death if someone isn't too careful. It also eats away at the user's mind, which can only be healed with Tao restoration. A user must also have steady concentration in order to predict attacks in the first place. Since the power doesn't make the user any faster than normal, their prediction can be countered if they face an opponent too fast for them to react. The sensory ability is also limited to sensing things with no intent, which makes it difficult for them to anticipate the movements of thrown objects such as weapons. Being distracted by an outside force can also disrupt the sensory ability, and of course, when two users of Tau face each other, including with elements, the one with the stronger Tau can bypass the defense of the other. And that should be it. I hope this gave anyone who watched this some more insight on Tao. Overall, I think it's safe to say that Tao is a really unique power system and a really good one at that. Anyways, thanks for watching.